Well, let me put you here. I'll be getting my COVID swab test. My job takes over my life. Because I had a sore throat and nasal congestion. I guess we earn more. By the way, this is Monique. Let's take a look. Do an actual day in the life of a home health case manager RN. Follow me on Instagram underscore m dot dreamboard. Eight months ago, I was desperate to move into Washington. I was not happy with my job in California and had an urge to be relocated for work. I was motivated to pass my driving test and able to get reassigned. I got an interview in Washington for a home health nurse position. Now, I can share with you guys my experience as a home health nurse. Pardon me if I am not looking at the camera. It's traffic right now and I need to focus on my driving. around the area I'm assigned at. I see patients in their respective homes, assisted living facilities, or adult family homes. I case manage our patients in the south area. I'm the one responsible in communicating with doctors if there is anything that a patient needs. PT, OT, or speech therapist. Going to a faraway land when it's traffic. I'm gonna see a patient for wound care, a wound clinic change for treatment. Today I won't take too long. Cross fingers. This morning he had an ABI skill checkoff. We handle a lot of wound patients. If the patient needs compression wraps, we could do an ABI study with a doctor's order. It did go well. Other procedures that we're doing is catheter changes, extract blood, collect specimens. I'm lucky if I get patients near my place. If in case I need to take my lunch or I need to use the restroom, I could just go home. I don't drink a lot of water when I'm driving. I'm not able to take a decent lunch most of the time because I have to keep on driving. Oh, if I need to pee, I have to look for a restroom, which I don't like doing. Most of the time, CC. Make sure they're stable at home and reduce your risk of hospitalization. visit i received a package it came from my agency i think i know what this is because i've seen my fellow agency nurses post in instagram let me put you here let's unbox i am excited guys what's this oh wow Ta -da! it says here Thank you so much to my agency. Another con of home health is that if you're using your personal car, your mileage will go up so fast. Like what happened to this car? 32,000 miles when I got it. And now it's already 44,000 miles. See how fast my mileage went up by just working for eight months now. What I don't like when it's raining, snowing, or if it's traffic. I'm just grateful that here where I'm assigned at, there's no heavy traffic in the side streets. 
usually the traffic is at the freeway and the freeway exit but after that there's no cars if I make mistakes I'm not that stressed out that somebody from my back will at me I don't have the balance of my personal life and we're running a race submit all the documentations it's pretty overwhelming instead of me quitting what I did is I spoke with my manager if I could just see like five patients a day so that I could like come home at least at 5 p.m. and then I could finish my charting maybe at 10 in the evening for you guys in home health are having hard time with your workload, it is best that you talk to your managers first before deciding to quit. I'm here at Walgreens Pharmacy close to my place. I'll be getting my COVID swab test because I had a sore throat and nasal congestion since Saturday. So I've been uh, having these symptoms for four days already and I'm going to get the rapid test and hopefully by one hour we would know if I'm positive or negative. Hopefully negative. I don't want to have COVID. If you quit right away and you haven't like expressed your grievances, how would they know that you're burnt out already, right? Maybe they could make a way for you to stay longer. So that's what happened to me. I would if you have a passion. Being one-on-one -on -one with your patients. Patients in home health are usually alone. Whenever you see them, patient has the chance to express how they feel. If you have the passion of one-on-one -on -one direct patient care, you would enjoy home health. As well, if you love traveling, this would be a perfect job for you. I haven't really explored Washington. I haven't been to a lot of tourist spots. But since I'm driving around the area, I get to see different places. Before, I didn't like the idea of being an agency nurse. But upon hearing stories of other traveler nurses, yes, they do recommend being a nurse in an agency rather than a direct hire nurse because of the traveler rates, which gives me a higher take-home pay. So we earn more than direct hire nurse. Let's discuss more on my next video. I'm going to my next visit. Said, and I'm running late. I told her I'll be arriving between 2.30 to 3.30. I had to do her INR and the wound care. I have to call the wound clinic to clarify orders. My fifth patient decided to cancel our appointment later because I'll be running late. Most of my patients, they don't prefer visits during dinner time. I'll just see the patient. Another con of home health, we don't have time in and time out. We could work as late or as early as we can. If I'm a full-time employee of our company, I am being paid per visit. But I'm a contractor, I'm working under an agency, I'm being paid hourly. I have a lot of overtime. Through home health, I was able to practice a lot of driving. I didn't drive in the Philippines. I only learned here in the US. It's a lot of practice for me. Here on my last visit, guys, just to give you an update. That's my day in the life of a home health nurse. Bye now, guys. I have to see my last patient for today. I hope you enjoyed this video guys and learned something from it. If you have more questions with home health, I'll be gladly to answer. Just comment down below and like this video for the algorithm to send this to those people who are interested with home health jobs. If you are considering home health, this might give you one idea. Type in those questions and I'll try to answer it on my next video.